Well, good morning, Kryptonians. This is Crypto Big Boss coming to you Saturday, 22nd of May, 2021. Folks, the carnage is real. The crash is real. But you got to understand what is really going on so you don't get burned. And what am I talking about? I've got several videos on this channel and I want to thank all those who have subscribed and stuck with me. I've got several videos on this channel talking about these patterns. Look at these patterns, folks. Look how they are all identical from Cardano, Binance, Dogecoin, uh, XRP. These people ought to be ashamed of themselves. And I keep talking about how this is caused by computer uh, initiated trading. Computers acting on behalf of institutional investors are executing trades uh, trades on mass across the entire crypto space. It's the only explanation there can be for all of these patterns being so similar. Look at the how, how they all kind of do the same little up and down pattern and all tending to go down. So understanding this and understanding that this is the case for over 90% of the cryptos in the crypto space, okay, we need to understand that we can take advantage of this. We know now that Elon Musk had nothing to do with this actuation okay he might be a catalyst he might be an influencer but he's not over here making every single one of these coins uh have the same pattern and trajectory a thousand coins in the top 1000 of the 4000 some odd coins and over 90 percent of them have almost the same identical pattern of how they're moving all of them moving almost exactly like bitcoin this is computer driven executions of trades on mass across the board and just like they all can follow this downtrend and and, and go like this is going to come a point where the computer say you know what time to buy up now whether you uh know anything about data science or not you might know something about Wyckoff. You might know something about data science and Webull um, actual, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, drop a comment in the comment section. Maybe you know something about uh, the different types of charts out there. Distributions, normal distributions, the Weibull distribution. Okay, and all of those things apply because we have to understand that they had to code some kind of distribution and some kind of artificial intelligence into these computers that are making these executions and trades. Now, this is getting a little technical and it might be a little bit hard to follow. I try to stay high level, but I got to get down in the weeds for just a minute. That's one of the things that's different about this channel. We're going to get just a little bit technical here. If you look at the graphs and you understand that somebody had to write some code for these computers to actually execute these trades en masse, and that's why they're so similar, well, what are they gonna base it on? It's based on data science techniques, okay? Things like Weibull analysis, things like comparative analysis, things like normal distributions, okay? normal triangular gamma distributions these types of things are being utilized to derive the artificial intelligence that is beneath these computer generated models that are ultimately influencing the execution of trades across the board for the crypto space now that might have sounded like what did he just say he just jumped off the freaking star uh, the starship enterprise with freaking captain kirk and he's talking crap this morning in layman's terms it means this somebody told these computers how the trades are going to be executed and they coded it 
in applications that are executing the trades on behalf of institutional investors that own the majority of the crypto. It is no longer a space dominated by the little people like us. So we have to understand the machine in order to stay ahead and not get ran over. Now, how do we stay ahead and not get ran over? Okay. Well, if I was um, a large corporation and I realized now that there is absolutely no uh, technology out here other than maybe hollow chain that has a chance of dominating the new way to store data and information across the entire realm of all computer applications, the internet, in every single genre uh, and type of application there is. We're going to call them all D apps now. Just imagine every single program that has any uh, requirement to store data and information or any requirement to collect a payment now is going to have to be rewritten okay re revitalized so its architecture can talk to this blockchain technology for its uh, capability of storing that data and information and transactions therein i would want to dominate and own the majority of it I would not let these freaking nerds sit up here and come up and just be the new money and just leave me by the wayside. We've got all these oracles and PLSQL database structures and things that have been used and people have made big fat whopping amounts of money for years on end. They don't want to get left behind and not have uh, sustenance and money because they didn't keep up with the technology. It's kind of like folks that didn't want electric cars to come into fruition. It'll kill the oil and gas markets. Elon Musk cars are not going to be good for people who have been drilling for oil, for trying to find natural resources to burn. This is not good for, for that business. They did everything they could to keep electric cars in the wrap. And now you're seeing what happens when big corporations come in and say, hey, we're going to own this too. You're not going to come up with new tech and then we get left on the side. That's why they try to outlaw it. First, they try to outlaw it and tell you, hey, we're going to um, over tax you on it. We're going to take it from you. It's, you can't use it. Uh, you, you can't have these privacy coins. We're going to basically make it illegal for you to have them. So we're going to make it hard for these American exchanges to allow you to have these uh, coins. Watch some of the videos on this. Okay, this is kind of an overview, review of a lot of material that I have on other videos. Okay, that's why they attack the privacy coins. That's why they want to up the tax rate to 37% on your money if you are a crypto investor. What are they really doing? They're trying to gain control of this crypto space while they get their heads out of the sand and derive legislation that is going to take their cut right off the top. Well, while they're getting their stuff together, the one thing we can't do as, the, as uh, investors is to stand by and get scared. They're doing all this pummeling and they got their puppets out there. Warren Buffett, I'm talking about you. And uh, all these other folks, uh, Elon Musk, I'm talking about you. Okay? And Microsoft uh, CEO, I'm talking about you. They, they're out here bad mouthing all the crypto okay and making this stuff jump all over the place while these folks like uh backed okay and the folks that own what's the other the winklevoss twins they're the ones that are sitting up here trying to get the their corp they, they got the lion's share of the crypto okay this is it's a handful of organizations i'm telling you it's a handful maybe two handfuls at most that are controlling, that have a controlling interest in the entire $1.5 trillion market. Let's, let's look at the, uh, let's just go ahead and look at the current market cap for the whole space right now. Look at that. About $1.5 trillion. That's it. 
1.5 trillion is all that's been spent. Come on. Amazon has more money spent on it than the entire crypto space. What is this telling you? It's telling you to hold on. Don't get outsmarted by computers executing trades. Don't get outsmarted by people filling in uh, artificial intelligence to drive the price down, scare the little people, allowing the big machine, the big corporations, inst institutional investors to buy it all up and then sell it back to you at a higher, at a higher cost. They can't hold this stuff down that long. You see, they've got to show a profit also every quarter. They can keep this up for just a little while, but they got to turn it around. They can't, they can't buy $1.5 billion. Yeah, Mr. Musk, I'm talking about you. You can't buy $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and then turn around and say, oh, I'm not taking it anymore, but I'm going to keep my Bitcoin. You know why he's got to keep his Bitcoin? Because he would have a big ass loss, just like you've got right now. Yeah, that's right. He ain't going to sell his Bitcoin. He ain't no fool. He knows good and damn well that Bitcoin is going to be the, the, the storehouse of value for, for, for all of it. You got to have a baseline. He knows that. And he knows that, guess what? This is going to go on maybe for a quarter or maybe two. And then it's going to come around. And when it comes around, it's going to come around like gangbusters. It's just going to be absolutely ridiculous. And then the crowd goes wild. It'll be all in the all in the news on MSN, NBC, on CNN, and all of them. CNN, MSN, uh, Fox News, all of them. Bitcoin is on a is on a terrorist raging and it's crypto mania again. No, what it is is computer driven trading. And when the program decides to kick off again and move it in the right direction. I hope to those who are listening to this video, you remember how I told you to hold on. And I hope that you share this video with your friends that might be scared. Look, if you don't want to have nothing at all, keep doing, get out now. Now this is not financial advice and this is just my opinion. But I'm telling you the truth. You ain't lost nothing until you get rid of it. Right now, if you've got a, a one Bitcoin or two Bitcoins or 10 Bitcoins and you don't think it's worth what you put in it and you want your money out, well, guess what? You can get out. But right now, you have whatever amount of Bitcoin you have. And ain't nobody can take that from you. But if you sell it for half of what you bought it for, you'll be the one that lost out. <clears throat> and I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen right after you sell I sold some TVOs one time and it just made me cry. I mean, as soon as I sold it, it wasn't 30 minutes and the shit jumped up 25%. It's almost like they were just waiting for me to get off of it. That's how this is. When they get enough people and they sold their Bitcoin at the lower price, the program will kick over and buy it all up. I think I did see a story out there. I'm going to find that story. Um, this next video, I'm, I'm going to find this story about the largest um, amount of cryptocurrency bought by institutional investors happened roughly about maybe 10, uh, 12 hours after the crash. Hello, did anybody catch that? I just told you it's already happened. The institutional investors are actually starting to buy up the currency already. Once they get as much as they want to get, now they turn around the machine goes boop, boop, and back to the moon here we go again don't get left on the sideline don't sell your crypto hold on to it if you've enjoyed this video please smash the like button if you're not a subscriber subscribe now hit the bell hit the notification bell so you can be right there when my new videos come out so you can hear where i'm coming from and whatever you do share the video with someone Share the video with two, three, four, five people. Share it with all your friends in your whole Facebook account. Whatever you need to do to get people to know, 
hey, there's somebody out here that's putting out the real deal and not pulling any punches and doesn't care what people think. I want you to make a mental note of where Bitcoin is today. A $37,000 Bitcoin. 700, uh, uh, what is this, billion dollar market cap. Hey folks, it was not that long ago. Let's just take a look at this before I go. Before we part ways and have to come together again and talk about this stuff. I want you to remember it was not that long ago where Bitcoin, literally, 17 April, folks, just roughly about a month ago, it was a $60,000 Bitcoin. $60,000 freaking dollars. Let's look at the market cap. Let's, let's, let's just look at that market cap. That $60,000 Bitcoin on April 17th, look at that. It was $1.1 trillion. Now we're sitting at roughly getting damn near close to half of that. Okay, we're just a little bit, maybe uh, half of that. We're you're at seven hundred billion dollars. Okay, and nothing has changed about Bitcoin. It's still the store of value. Let's do this for Ethereum. Okay, the 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 oil, the blood, the 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 one that most of the applications are going to be running on. The one that has the ERC twenty token that everybody is copying. Look at this. Same exact, look at that. It went all the way to hell and then comes all the way back down to about the same as Bitcoin. What is that? Computer generated training, folks. Tr computer generated, uh, driven tra trading. $3,800 Ethereum. Let's look at the market cap. Look at that market cap on that. All the patterns are the same because it's computer driven trading. Look at that market cap. On the 15th of May, $450 billion, almost half a trillion, damn near half a trillion. We're, 20, we're literally $50 billion away from a half a trillion dollar Ethereum. Come on now. You mean to tell me that now this same Ethereum is only a fifth is only a 52 what is this look at that no 269 billion roughly what is that now 400 225 okay we're talking about a 450 uh billion dollar uh market cap now the market cap is sitting at 269 roughly a little bit above half just like bitcoin computer driven trade what changed? Did the tech, is it only half of what it was before? Is the tech only got half the capability it had before? No. It's just it as exact same utility as it had a month ago. This is the fallout of computers making trades on behalf of institutional investors. And just like it can sell it and drive the price down, it can start buying it and drive the price up. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please, again, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one.